Do you like to pack for a trip more than a week in advance? I'm an ultra planner when it comes to packing before vacation. If you do, come follow me. Are you like me and only like to make your bed when you're getting ready to pack so that you have a clean slate in order to put your clothes out and fold them and get them ready to put into the suitcase? Do you like to wash all of the clothes before you pack? Like not even just yours, but everyone's clothes? Do you like to have your husband get the suitcase down just because you don't want to? All right, so um, the jig is up a little bit. <laughs> if you saw yesterday's, or actually, if you saw last week's video about me possibly having a surprise for you guys. Yep, I am going somewhere. I have been getting ready all week long, and a lot of that prep that I do when I travel is, when I travel alone, I should say, is for my family. I do all their laundry. I make sure there's food in the fridge. Yes, Jason will be home and he will be taking care of the kids, but I like to have everything as prepped and ready to go as I can. But also, like, I have my own stuff to get ready to go. So it does take some time. I am not a last minute packer. So I just thought I would bring you along today and show you what I have packed and how I pack and whatever, some of my little tips. I think a lot of people like this. In fact, my sister-in-law has seen my video on my travel bag and she called me probably about three months ago and she's like, tell me I can borrow that bag again. And ended up buying one herself because she loved my travel bag. I'll show it to you, it's downstairs. Um, ended up buying one for a trip she did over the holidays and it came the day after she got home. And she was so sad she didn't borrow mine. And I told her she could anyway. So I know that this, these kinds of videos are helpful. So I just wanted to walk you through the different things that I have done to get ready to pack up. So I'm gonna take you through all the things that I've done to pack up, I'm not telling you where I'm going yet. Should I tell you where I'm going? I don't know, should I, should I tell you? Maybe I'll have to make you wait until the end and I'll tell you what my surprise is. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll tell you at the end so you have to watch all the other stuff. I'll tell you at the end where I'm going because I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. It's not Hawaii. Don't get your hopes up because I'm not getting mine up. It's not Hawaii, but I'm very excited. So let me show you what I've done to prep and get ready to go. All right, so one of the first things that I do when I get ready to go travel, either by myself or as a family, I always get my makeup bag ready and I work out of it through the whole week ahead of schedule so that I make sure I have everything in there that I use on a daily basis. I've got my makeup brushes in here. I've got my two makeup palettes packed up in here, a little zipper pouch. I've got my face cream and uh, all of my medicine. I just, I always measure out my actual dose and then about four or five days extra just in case. I have a chapstick ball, my makeup. I have some more in here. I always have a fan when I am um, setting my face spray, I always like to fan that. Deodorant, sponge, extra ponytails, you name it. I've got my travel toothpaste. I also have a new little beauty to take with me this time. Can you guys see that? Yep, that says Michael Kors. I got this one and my bottle of Michael Kors when we were in Hawaii, Jason and I and it came with a little travel size. So I'm very excited to be able to use this on the trip and not have to worry about my large bottle. So overall, I always pack it and put everything in here that I will use on a daily basis, make sure it will shut. I think I might actually have to have a, another little bag or something to be able to get my brush and my makeup wipes in there or I might just put that in a suitcase. Um, but most of my stuff will come fit into these little compartments and then it'll be zipped up nice and tight. Also, make sure all of your makeup is under three ounces. I always end up having to get a small makeup setting spray when I go on trips because my regular one over here, this one is too large. So even though I still have some left in here, I need to just keep this little bottle that has the ounces on it so that I can just refill it when I'm gonna be traveling instead of having to rebuy it. But I always make sure that my ounces on each of my makeup for, that are liquid are under the three ounces. Now this time, because I'm not checking a bag, I don't have to worry about my weight on the in the luggage. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave my scale here um, and then I can put it back into it, the suitcase when I get back home. 
I'm kind of like a kid on the first day of school where I set my outfit out the night before. And in this case, it's a couple days before. But you know what? I'm prepared and my clothes are clean. This is my airport outfit. I'm actually kind of worried about wearing jeans. I get very hot when I travel. I wear shorts in the dead of winter to go to Hawaii. I get hot on that plane. I wear a sweatshirt, sometimes I even have a coat, but I will wear shorts. I just get hot. So I'm kind of nervous about wearing the jeans and I'm especially nervous because the airport I'm going to has a really long, like really long, uh, what do you call it, concourse. I'm really worried. It's like a two mile concourse two miles. It takes a half hour to walk it. <laughs> so I'm kind of worried. And for those of you who know what airport that is, that's one hint. But don't tell, don't put it in the comments yet. I'll tell you at the end where I'm going. Okay, here is my carry-on. I've got a pair of shoes for church. And then I've got all of my clothes packed up in these little cubes. So these packing cubes will shrink down. If you pull on the zipper all the way around, it will shrink it down. But I don't need to do that for this time. Uh, it will fit in here just fine and I can zip it up and it will fit. I don't, I'm not worried about doing that. In this one I have an extra pair of pants and then all of my pajamas, underwear, socks, all that kind of stuff. And then I have a little gift for someone that I'm going to see. So I can't show that to you quite yet. And then I have my hair straightener for doing my hair. Okay, so that's kind of, like it seems pretty simple, but I'm only gonna be gone for three days and then coming home on the fourth day. Yeah, coming home on the fourth day early in the morning. And I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I should just bring my like sweatpants <laughs> to wear that morning and not jeans, but I don't know, I haven't quite decided if I should take out that second pair of jeans and throw in casual pants to come home in. I don't know what to do. I, I'm really uncomfortable in airports being in like sweatpants. I have known people who can do that and fly that way. I need to be presentable when I'm in public like that. I, anything can happen, then you're stuck in your pajamas for three days. I, I don't know, like, <laughs> just scares me too much to not be presentable. And yes, I'm not gonna have my hair fully done. I'll probably do it like this because I get hot in the airport. It's just the thing. All right, so let's go downstairs. Also, more laundry, you guys. I just, I make sure all the laundry is done before I travel. This isn't, I don't need any of this for myself. It's just to make sure everything is done. So let me take you downstairs and I will show you the travel bag that I have. I have a bag problem. I have a bag. Hold on. My name is Dana Brown and I have a bag problem. This is saying this for my husband because he doesn't know I did this and I actually did it twice. So just, I'll show you downstairs. All right, so we're down here in my little office. This is my normal purse, okay? We're gonna talk about this little purse. I like this purse. There's nothing wrong with it. It hasn't broken, no straps are coming loose. Perfectly fine, a little dirty, obviously. I could wipe it down. Perfect condition. I don't need a new purse. I don't need a new purse. <laughs> Except I need to take this bag with me on the plane because I need to be able to put my laptop into a bag. I've got my little MacBook right there and I need to be able to take that with me to edit and to watch Netflix. Let's just be real. So I need to take this bag because I'm not gonna put the laptop in my carry-on bag. It has a really good spot for it in the back right here. And so I like to protect it and carry it with me, have it with me on the plane. I don't like anything to happen to it. So I have to take this bag, but I have this bag and I have my carry-on bag, so I can't take any other purse with me. And this one is really big and cumbersome to like just go to dinner, go shopping with it as I'm traveling where I'm going. And so what do I do? What I do is I go to the store and I get another purse. <laughs> It's very similar to that other purse that I already have. It's like a little mini version of this purse. Okay, disclaimer. I actually ordered a cheaper one on Amazon and it was supposed to be here in time. I haven't left yet, obviously. I'm still here at home. I'm still filming these videos. It hasn't come yet. It's supposed to come the day I'm leaving. The day I'm leaving. If it comes in time, I actually like that purse better. I think I'll like it better. And I think it's going to fit into this travel bag a little bit better than this one does. But I couldn't risk it. <laughs> so I bought another one. So now I have two, two mini purses. I, I've never returned anything on Amazon, so I'm probably gonna keep it. What I might do is just use this purse 
um, like if I'm going out at night and I don't want to take the big one, I can put my wallet in there, I put my phone in there, even my camera in there. I'll show you what's in it in, here in a second. Or I can give the other purse that I got on Amazon, I can give that one to Ashley because she, lo she loves mini purses. She absolutely loves them, especially for church. So it, it's not a loss. And I don't buy expensive bags. This is on clearance for $14. It could have been $1,400. So if my husband is watching this in the future, I could have a worse addiction. Than purses and bags and travel bags. But I don't. I don't have a worse addiction and I buy them very affordably. Okay, so let me show you what is in these bags and why it works out for me. Okay, we'll talk about this one here in just a second. I'll show you what's in that one. But here's my travel bag. Oop, someone is having carbs on the plane. I just, I can't do it. I can't not have Pringles on an airplane. It's a thing. So here's my bag. If you guys are curious about this bag, I will try and remember to put the link down below. This is the bag my sister-in-law ended up getting after her last trip, but has borrowed it from me before and fell in love with it. It's called the Lug Bag, L-U-G. Um, you can buy them on Amazon. I got mine on QVC online because it was cheaper and it was free shipping and it just I could find the color that I wanted. I couldn't find the gray one on Amazon for the price I paid on QVC. So it is a thing, um, but I love all the little pouches on the outside. Someone has some candy that I'm taking as well. There's two little pockets here. Then I love the pockets here because they're magnetic. There's no buttons, there's no snaps, it's all magnetic. They just like stay closed with the magnet, including this little pocket right here. It has a magnet also. So I always put my phone in this pocket there. And then in this pouch right down here, I have my mini electronic bag. So because I do need to edit and have my computer with me while I travel, even for just a few days, I did need to bring some of my electronic stuff with me. I needed to find a smaller way to pack all of these supplies with me. So I've got my external hard drive right there. I've got all my attachments that I need for the laptop, including power cord for the SD card and another cube to be able to fit my, my phone charging cord into a plug in the wall. Normally I just plug in to my computer like this. I will take this out when I travel and I'll put this into my bag as well. But I usually, see I usually plug it into my computer. When I'm at my location that I'm going to, I will need to plug it into a wall. I will also need to get my power cord for my laptop and pack that, but I'm still using it. So I found that this is kind of the perfect little size. I'll zip it up later, but it fits right into this front pouch. And then if I need to get to it, I may even not zip it up because if I need to get to it at the airport or on the plane, I can just unzip this main pouch and have access to it. All right, so the main reason I love this bag, and I've talked about it before, you guys, look at this huge mouth. <laughs> I call it a mouth because the opening of this bag is like on a hinge. It has like wire all the way around the edge of this opening around the zipper and it stays like it's like oh my gosh look at that so imagine you have your bag at your feet on the airplane right uh hint i'm going on an airplane <laughs> okay so you have your bag at your feet look at that you have full access to the entire bag so my laptop will go in there i've got my pringles i will have a can of soda that i get from the airport I will try and get a zero sugar soda. I will try and do really good this trip in that regard, but I have access to the rest of the bag as well. But mainly I need to be able to fit my purse because I want to be able to have this purse to travel around with once I get to my location, but I need to be able to take it with me and have my driver's license and all that kind of stuff with me on the plane as well. And so this purse, fits perfectly right down inside. Okay, I know I didn't show you how perfectly it fits inside, but let me show you what's in it, and then I will show you how it fits down into the other bag. All right, part of the reason why I like this one is because it had two separate compartments. On this side, I have a chopstick ball. I always get the ball because they're easier to find in a purse. If you know chopsticks, 
you know that they can roll around and get clear to the bottom and then you can't find them. So the chapstick ball will be right on top and then I have a battery case for my camera. I need to be able to have quick access to new batteries for the camera as I'm vlogging. And then I just have my regular little, I don't even know what this is, like extras, right? I've got lotion. Well, actually I probably need to take this one out. Is this one three ounces? This is, oh, it's 2.5. So I can take that one. Um, but it has like headache medicine, it has some chapsticks, or like lip gloss, like if I'm going to go out. I always like to have a little bit of extra color if I'm going out, which I am. And then I also have Meclizine. There's another hint, it's a short flight. I get motion sickness on the way down, and maybe it's just the airport that I'm going to. I don't know what the deal is, but I get a little bit of motion sickness when I fly. And so I'm just going to go ahead and pop these in right when I wake up the morning that I'm traveling. And this is a 12 hour dose, and so I won't have to worry about it the rest of the day. Okay, then the other side, I will have my mask, I will have my phone, will fit into one of these pockets right here. And then I have my wallet. I don't want to take apart my wallet. I want to have everything with me. I want to have my own insurance card, my own debit cards, my own credit cards. Just in case of emergency, I want to have access to everything. I also need to have my, my vaccine card um, for going into restaurants, I think. I don't know where I'm going if they have that, that requirement, but I'm going to take it just in case. But I also need to leave my kids' vaccine cards here at home, but I'm just keeping them here until the very last minute. But I need to have access to my wallet. I love to be able to just drop my cards right down into my wallet instead of having to take it out of my purse. All right, so now you can see why I wanted to have this little tiny purse. It fits right down inside this big bag. I have room for a drink right down in there or a book. I don't think I'm going to take a book. I think I'm going to watch a show on my phone. And then I have my laptop that will be in here with the laptop charger and it'll be very simple. I like simple. And then my phone will go into that little pouch and I have full access to everything. Now I will pull out my driver's license when I am at the airport. When I first get there, I will have that like in my pocket so that I can be able to scan that and show that as I go through the airport. And then I'll be able to put that into my purse and tuck it away and, and zip up this main bag. But then I'll have it the rest of the trip while I'm gone. Then I, the only other thing that I, I think that I have, well, you wanna see my list? Okay, you're gonna have to deal with the uh, shadows. <laughs> and look, I didn't even give you any hint in, in case I showed this to you. Surprise trip. <laughs> didn't even tell you in my notes where I was going. So this is my uh, list for this trip. This is what I need to pack and this is what I need to do in order to get ready. And this is my list of stuff that I'm probably going to do today on my YouTube channel. I need to get some more music and create a new end note for 2022 and schedule out videos. And this pack with me video is the one I'm doing right now. So I'm just working through this list and one of the last things that I need to do is download new shows on my phone. I just started a new show on Netflix. Even though I'm still watching Downton Abbey, I'm re-watching all six seasons. I still have my retainer in. <laughs> Sorry for the lisp. So let's see, what show am I watching? Um, I feel like I'm cheating on Downton Abbey, to be completely honest with you, <laughs> because I'm so invested in watching it. I'm watching Stay Close on Netflix, and I think I'll probably watch, I'm watching episode number one right now, but there's only eight episodes in this first season, and so I think I will watch maybe one or two more of the episodes just to like get fully hooked into the season, and then I will download two or three of the episodes. I think they're 45 minutes long each, and that way I have at least two episodes for the full flight and then um, an extra one in case there's any kind of a delay. I always download from Netflix. Jason downloads um, movies on his computer uh, for the airport, but I just do it from Netflix, and then as soon as I watch it, I just delete it, and then I'm good to go. And then when I get to my destination and I'm coming home, I will download two or three more episodes of something, whether it's Downton Abbey or whatnot. I will have that on my phone. I never rely on like Wi-Fi on the plane or movies that they have on the plane because I may not like them and I, and I just want to have a backup plan. So that's what I need to do today is go through my, um, do those downloads, get some stuff prepped for my YouTube channel. Also, this notebook will have to come with me as well because it's my YouTube like checklist. I guess I don't have, I only have on this page like pack with me. So if you can see so if you're new to what it takes to create a video, 
this is just a very minor list of what every single video needs to have done in order to put it out onto YouTube. And so every single video that I post goes through this little check process. And so I know I'm gonna be editing while I'm there. And so I wanna be able to check and keep track of all my videos. This is the pack with me and surprise reveal. So I will take this with me, but I think I will leave my notebook be behind because I don't need to like really do anything else with my notebook once I'm all set for travel. Okay, so are you guys ready? Should I tell you? This video goes out, yeah, it goes out when I'm already there and possibly when I'm coming home. Should I tell you? Should I tell you? I'm so excited. Only four people, one, two, three, four, five people. Five people know where I'm going. Ooh, I'm so excited to tell you. I'm so excited to tell you. I am in a couple weeks, it's my birthday, but I'm a twin. I'm a twin. If you did not know that, I have a twin sister and it's our birthday coming up in a couple weeks. And so I've never done this before for our birthday. I am surprising my twin sister for our birthday and I'm gonna go and stay at her house. <laughs> she doesn't know that I'm staying at her house, but her roommate does. And so her roommate has been working behind the scenes with me to like, make Make sure that the, the guest bedroom is all ready to go. And you guys are gonna get to see her new house all remodeled after the fire. If you didn't know that, if you guys are new, I have a lot of new followers. My twin sister had her house like almost burned down to the ground, like half of it was burned. And so she's had to remodel it and get all that stuff done over the span of like a year. And it was during the pandemic and it was like a thing. And so she is back in her house and I will give you a little tour. She's very excited to show you guys the house, but we just haven't had time to. So I'm gonna surprise my twin sister for our birthday and we're gonna go out to dinner with my sisters. So my sisters are in on it with me my other two sisters, and then her roommate, and then my aunt and my cousin are in on it as well because they're gonna come down and go to dinner with us as well. I don't know where we're gonna go to dinner because Cheesecake Factory wasn't taking any more reservations for the night we wanted to go. So we might have to fiddle around and try and find a place to go. And then it's literally just like hang out at her house, play games, go to church with her, go to Marshall's. Like her and I love, love to go to Marshall's. So I like if we go to Marshall's, we'll probably just buy each other a birthday gift <laughs> it's kind of how we do things. In fact, when I knew I was coming on this trip, I was talking to her on the phone a couple weeks ago. And she was like, so about Christmas and our birthday, are we on the same agreement? And I was like, yeah, we're on the same agreement. I haven't gotten you anything yet. I haven't gotten anything for my, your birthday yet. And she's like, okay, so we're good till January. And I said, yeah, we're good till January. And usually by January, we, we kind of like let the stress of Christmas go. And we usually come up with something fun to like give each other in you know, in replace of Christmas and birthday, we just do like one thing and send it to each other. But this is my gift to you, Erin, if you're watching <laughs> this. My gift to you is the presence of me in your life and it'll be fun to surprise her. I do have a gift. I showed you upstairs that gift um, that I have in my suitcase. It's for her and I will show that to her when, she, when I get there and you'll have to just wait and see what her reaction is to that. It's little, it's like $5. It wasn't a big deal, but it's really, really cute. And so I just picked that up and I'll take it with me. So I'm very excited to go. I also am working on a plan. Sorry, my arm is <laughs> my arm is tired from holding my camera I am also working on because my sister lives further away about an hour and a half away from the rest of my family and my dad and because I'm only going to be down there for literally two and a half days it's such a short trip uh, and I needed to get, get back to get the kids off to school and stuff and Jason's at work or whatever and so it's a very short trip and it meant that I couldn't travel up to see the rest of my family and so we're working on a plan and we'll see if it works to get my dad down to my sister's house for Sunday dinner. We're in the works. I had to call her roommate, my sister's roommate yesterday and say, okay, you guys need to invite my dad for Sunday dinner. And he's gonna think it's strange because my other sister is coming to stay at his house that same day <laughs> for one night. Anyway, it's a long story, um, but she, they've all gotta convince him, no, come down to Aaron's house. We're gonna have a birthday dinner for her. Gotta convince everyone to do it not knowing that I'm going to be there. And that's the reason I need him to come down. So hopefully this will be a two and two for one surprise and I'll be able to surprise my dad. I kind of feel like by the time I get there, if they haven't convinced him to come down, I will FaceTime him from my sister's house with her and surprise him that way and tell him, surprise, I'm here. This is why you need to come down. So if it doesn't work as a complete surprise, I will do that because I know he will come down. He will come down and want to see me and hang out with us and it's just going to be a great time. So sorry for the uh, story here at the end. I 
I hope you enjoy how I pack and how I do things. Um, I'm very excited for this trip. Uh, it'll be nice to kind of get away and just have some girl time. Husbands are not involved. <laughs> Obviously Jason's staying home and like my uncle's not coming and my cousin's husband is not coming down. It's just girls. We're just doing a girl's time and I'm looking forward to being, I love to travel you guys. I absolutely love to travel and like this is like, I love to travel. Being with my sisters is going to be really fun. So I hope you come back as I prep to get ready to travel and go and see my sister and then you can come and see her house all remodeled. Her kitchen layout is completely different and I don't know if we have any footage of what it looked like before. I do have footage of it burnt down. So I will kind of throw in some clips of that as we go through her house and show you but um, I'm excited for my surprise. So stay tuned and come as we surprise my twin sister.